Baby trees, baby trees. Baby, baby, tiny baby trees. And some oaks. Still babies. Three of these oaks I found at my mom's. The rest I found here. The one at the very tall, the tallest one is from last year. It's a silver maple. This is a red maple from last year. I'm going to keep that here. But all of these, these tiny ones are kind of soaked down so they're really leafy. These are going to be planted if they survive. So we'll be planted around the city. And these are ones from last year, most of them. Those are some red maples. There is a tiny, I don't know if you can see it, it's like a reddish top tree. That's a walnut tree. Um, that's new. And then there's an oak, and then that's a tulip tree. And that's doing actually really good. Tulip tree is going to go to my dad's. So, the rest are doing pretty good. So hopefully these all came out of a retaining wall over there, all these little seedlings. So if anyone wants to grow trees, I strongly encourage to pick them out and plant them and have them grow for a while, maybe a year, and then plant them. Um, the only issue I've had really is they're so tiny, some of them are so tiny that they just kind of wilt um, and probably can just get lost in the shuffle of the grass. So um, if you want them to get a little bit taller, leave them there for six months in the ground where they grew from and, and then move them. But um, cheers to some trees, guys. Uh, there are more trees in the retaining wall, but um, they're mostly green ash that are left. And green ash trees, actually, there's, if you can hear the machine in the background, that is them getting the remains of a green ash tree because there's, I don't know what it's called, but that they kill the ash, the green ash trees around here. Um, they do not do well out here. So if you get a green ash tree or have a green ash tree, I, if they're babies, I would just get rid of them because they don't do well. Um, this is actually a green ash tree that I'm under. It's a big one. They do. They can get pretty big if they survive. This one's actually doing really well. And this one's actually a green ash tree. Oh, hello. So, if you look, whatever it's called, it's already getting to them. A lot of people just cut the limbs off of the infected part. But in reality, it's just going to keep getting the tree down down and down and down when you cut it like if you cut it to the base it will sprout more but um i don't know enough about the logistics about them but i do know that the green ash trees unfortunately don't do well here they grow out here like crazy but they just don't um something attacks it and they don't do good at all so this one i probably will take down um i just feel like this area is sacred for some reason so i've just kind of left it and as well as the mulberry tree over there um so <clears throat> anyway leave any comments anything if you guys are planting any trees let me know i would love to hear about it bye bye